remember is that we're here to try and help. We're not trying to bring you down. We're not trying to give you a hard time. We're actually trying to help you improve your photography. So if you get a score, there's actually a message in that. And take that message and see what you can learn from it rather than completely being distraught by it or upset by it. See what you can learn from it because it's where the, the learning that you can do and the growth that you can do. Some of the prints that have been my worst, I've learned much more from than the goals that I've gotten. So um, I just wanted to sort of add that because a lot of people tend to miss, miss the idea of, of actually growing and learning from the, the awards. Thank you very much. Can we have that print returned, please? We're going to continue on. Thank you very much, print handlers. And after the judges have rescored, this one is now a silver award at 82. <laughs> at least their scores got entered before the system fell over. <laughs> Very patient subject. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to do a judge change. Thank you, Morgan, and I'll bring on Sarah. I had flagged that with her about, <laughs> felt like um, only a minute ago, but yeah. <laughs> um, can we just wait for a minute? Yeah. Okay, and we'll have the next print, please. A competitor emerges from the obstacle Crybaby during an announcement of new obstacles at a secret location in Victoria, Australia. This print scores 78. Adam would like to challenge. He's on 83. And Rob's in the silver range as well on 81. Then there's two 76s and a 75. As a, as a documentary and even perhaps as a, a, an event coverage image, uh, this is, it has such immediate impact. That hand is the first thing I saw. And I go straight to that great expression. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm curious. This and the, the angle... The, the colour, the treatment, everything pulls me in. I, I want to know what's going on. I'm engaged in that moment. And I think that, that's what makes the successful documentary moment. It could have been captured from a distance. It, it could have been uh, just sort of stood back and think. But the, the engagement and that, that you know, angle that we're being presented with here, I think takes it above that, that element. This is the sort of image that editors, I think, would, would jump at to see come as, as far as an event coverage and it's a different angle. It's, it's, it's the photographer really pushing the boundaries of what they're doing, getting them in amongst that environment that pushes them above that professional practice um, kind of viewpoint. And it, you know, every, the expression is just priceless when you get in there. It, it tells you everything you need to know about this event. I think it's a really successful piece of communication. Thank you, Adam. Uh, Lani, you were on 75. Yeah, I think... Um and I was listening to Adam's comments and I was going, yep, tick, tick, tick. And that's, that all the ticks were based on keeping it in just the professional practice. I didn't think it was above anything spectacular myself personally, but that's why we are all here. So I don't want to draw the image down, but I didn't have much more to really add to it. Just that I just felt like it was, yeah, it is kind of unique angle and captured. I did feel like the leading lines, obviously, I know they've got to be in close. We're kind of just distracting but um, around the side, obviously that's the lens that they're using and the position that they're in to take it. I understand that, but that's why I just had it in the professional range. I just felt as though it could have been documented. Actually coming back a little bit more still and then um, cropping in would have um, done it a bit more just... That's me personally. Rob, you had it as a silver at 81. I did, and uh, I based this on... Um, uh, it's It's fit for purpose use and um, uh, and there's a number of other elements that that 
make it a, a, a fantastic image, and I. Um, uh, it, it's tomorrow's news. It's the front page for the Nor- tomorrow's news, or uh, you know, a, a great starter shot for a story in the magazine. And uh, so that's there's there's plenty of it, there's the, uh, the the graphic nature of it, uh, the the great expression, but the hand takes you there straight away. And and there's a a certain intrigue with the whole thing. The other hand's kind of spread out on the ground. Um, as I say, it's 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 as much where this image would be used, and and how fantastic that image would be for its use. F- let's kind of put some of the other little elements aside of you know, um, of print techniques and things like that. It's it's the the fit for use image, fit for purpose. Your right of reply, Adam. To to respond to what you said about the uh, the, the coming back and copying in. I think you lose that sense of immediacy. Our photo brain recognises that the wide-angle distortion, that's right there. That photography is right in that moment and you know it's muddy, you know it's gritty. Everything about that photo leads you into that expression and tells you that this is a horrible situation or this is someone putting themselves... And I think that's what it effectively communicates by being right there in that moment, engaging and, and, and getting being part of the environment rather than stepping back from it. The photographer's taken that extra step past professional practice because it could have been so easy to stand back and observe and, and do it. And that's why I think we should reward it. It's, it's such an effective piece of communication because we're right there in that moment and it's, it's, you know, we can reach out and touch it because that's what they're doing. So our average score is 78. Adam holds an 83, but everyone else can rescore. Print scores 80, silver award. (laughs) Going to do another judge change. Thank you, Lani. And I'll bring on Chris Thomas. And we will have the next print, please. The winning Golden Masters crew in the 60 to 70 year age category throw their 13 metre outrigger canoe into a 180 degree turn around the halfway buoy while racing in the Malulaba Regatta, March 2017. This print scores 78. Adam, please, a comment. I'm not going to assume that there's a, um, about post posting or anything, but there's a, a difference in the tones between the face and what's very close around it. That Whether it's just a piece of reflection that's been caught up or whether it's been done in post, I'm not going to assume. But I find it a little disconcerting that even from back here, the faces really kind of pop out a little bit more than I think it, it, it sort of sits within the lighting of the frame. So... Good action, you know, given it 78, because I think it is close to a silver award uh, and maybe just with a little bit of work in there, just under the lights, perhaps it's popped up a little bit more than uh, what may be there. So maybe just have a look at the, the file and I think it's it, it's definitely got potential. Thank you, Adam. Next print, please. And then there were two. 14th March 2016, 6.10am, Snack- Snapper Rocks, Gold Coast, Professional surfers Gabriel Medina and Jeremy Flores risk life and limb by entering the water from the rocks to be first in line for an incoming wave. Shot shortly before Quicksilver Pro competition resumed.
This print scores 77. I uh, know there's a challenge, actually. But thank you for being so quick off the bat. Adam's challenging from 84. Uh, and there's uh, 77, 76, 75, 74. I, I'm going to open up this say I, I am extremely conflicted about what I'm about to say because I think what, from back here initially, I am just it's it's beautifully crafted. The tones are fan, just such subtlety in the tones, great action. This is what I'm rewarding it for. It's to such a graphical nature, and you know, out in the midst of this ocean to see this moment, you know, pr maybe with one hand in the air floating in the middle of the ocean to see such a a perfect moment in time. That's what I'm rewarding. But it's just not sharp, like through through the middle of it, and that's what holds me back from from going much, much, much higher. But what I'm rewarding, and what I'm asking you guys to do, is to see the vision that's in this photo and the professional practice that's in 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 seeing that the you know, capturing the palette, capturing that exact moment in time where you're sort of floating out in air. And, you know, it's 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 that pivotal moment that any higher and you wouldn't be there, any lower and you'd be lost. It, it, it's such a well seen moment. I think it deserves silver at, at the very least, and uh, it has such potential. And I think that it deserves at least a silver just for the the aesthetic that it presents towards us, and you know, not the technical flaws that we may see. Mel, you're on seventy four. I was so excited when I saw this from back here because you've got such beautiful um, softness in the front that just draws you into what should be in the sharp area and I would have actually gone gold I think if it wasn't for the fact that the rock and the figures are just not sharp and for something like this it needs if that had been pin sharp would have gone gold for me um, I don't know whether I can forgive sharpness and that's where you're going to have to get me over the line to bring it up into silver um, this photographer should be definitely commended for the see, seeing this and creating such an amazing image. Um, and even the printing is beautiful, but it's just the sharpness that's holding me back. All the other judges are in a position to listen to you, Adam, so give them your right of reply. It, it is de definitely the elephant in the room here. And what, I'm, what I think we need to do is look at, you know, not everything has to be pin sharp. There is elements of sharpness, like the, sh the figure in front is sharp enough for me to, to, to get past that and it give me that point of reference. Uh, and I think for, you know, for us to... I, I, I definitely, I'm in the agreement with you, Mel. If it was pin sharp, I'd be in gold. I'd even be in high. It is such a well-crafted, well-seen. The palette is there. The softness in the foreground and the composition is there. Uh, I think it, it works still as an art piece. Uh, I think it still works as a piece of communication, and I think you know, th for the the composition and just the aesthetic alone, I think we can definitely get it into a silver. So our average score is seventy-seven. Adams on eighty-four. Everyone else rescore. Print scores 82, silver award. With all the judges in the silver range. Next print, please. There's no caption for this image. This print scores 75. Mel, could you give us a comment about this one, please? You're right on the average. Yeah, I think um, where the main subject is in the centre of the image, there's a person in the window behind it, and you can't see their face, but there's kind of distracting away from the actual person itself. If that element hadn't have been there, it definitely would have cleaned it up a little bit. Also, too, the, you need to sometimes have a look at where your lines are. The most strongest vertical in this image feels as though it's um, tilting a little bit um, and 
you just need to be a little bit more careful and a little bit more um, mindful when you, you're constructing um, the printing side of this. That could have just been fixed with a little bit of a crop. Um, so, yeah, mm. there you Thank go. Thank you. Good feedback. Next print, please. <coughs> Nom Pen, Cambodia. Scooters are quite popular transport for Cambodian. Scooters weaving amongst the cars and trucks as there are no road rules and the traffic keeps flowing during the sundown while the air is thick with smokes from cooking and transports. This print scores 64. Uh, could I please get a comment from Adam? Is, you're waving your hand at me. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Again, again. With this image, that I, I get a, a, an idea that the aspect is is not quite right, and and even in the thumbnail that we see, looks different in shape to what we're seeing on the screen, and perhaps that's the aspect of what, you know, um, again, you don't have to fill the frame. There is a there is a minimum size, and you know, you are allowed to print to whatever aspect you like as long as it fulfills the the minimum shape requirements. Um, I c if the author is around, have a chat to one of us judges later on, and we'll, we'll we may sort of see what's if there's something going on in in this respect of this image i find that the central figure is is very out of focus everything that is uh sort of left and right is what's in focus and i'm not drawn to the middle uh, I, I find that yeah, it's just a little bit confusing what's going on there but if the author's around come and have a chat to one of the judges about the uh, about the images if that's all right thank you very much adam next print please singing for his supper a busker sings for the public on a Friday afternoon in Shorncliffe. This print scores 67. Uh, Chris, could you give us a comment about this image, please? How might the author improve it? Um, just, just go back to uh, your, your, base, your camera craft. Um, the, the, the gentleman's face, which for me is the, is the, is the, the ultimate subject, it isn't quite sharp. Uh, the overall image does appear to be a little bit underexposed, uh, under, even under this uh, lighting. Um, and there's not a there's not a huge narrative there at all, but um, you know keep 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 shooting and and, and, and and practice the craft. Great, thank you very much, Chris. Next print, please. 2016, a child delights in the joy of unstructured play at her local playground, Queensland, Australia. Print scores 71. Sarah, can we get a quick comment from you about this one, please? There's a lovely shaft of light coming through um, to help this image have a bit of impact. Uh, it's is uh, a nice scene moment uh, that is, I've overwatered it just in professional practice. I think it's uh, good for the author to go back and, and have a bit more look at their craft, get a bit more idea of, of 
a narrative that has a bit of, if, if this girl's singing on a swing, we want to see more movement and um, more energy and more things happening. It's very still for a very movement-filled type image. Thank you. Next print, please. Next print, thank you. Morning commuter crowd walking in sync as instruct instructed by the green walk signal. Anne Street, Brisbane. This print scores 77. Is there a challenge? There is a challenge. Okay. Rob, Rob's going to challenge. Key's on 85. Uh, then there's Adam on 78. There's a 77, a 74 and a 72. Go ahead, Rob. Um, this, is one of those this is one of those images that uh, does exactly what it's hap what's happened. And we've got a, a kind of a wide range of... Uh, scores for this image um again uh the ca the category that it's in and uh and where it might be used and the way it's been shot i think fits uh ticks all the boxes um the very the the anonymous faces of um everyone coming across the lovely kind of backlit little halo kind of light around everybody and uh it leaves everyone completely anonymous and the little green man ray back in the background um is nice and sharp and it and it does it has a you know with a story um it would fit perfectly with a uh, with the right story and you could put some type around it and it'd be fantastic the, mm, the only little thing that i is, is the person right in the foreground but if you try to crop that out then the little green man gets too close to the edge of the photo so it is what it is, and uh, I, I, I think it, in this category it, it, it would be a very solid little silver image. Go to Chris first on 72, and then we'll go to Adam. Yeah, um, uh, I wanted professional practice. It is, it is nicely sharp. I do like the play on, uh, on the rim lighting, um, uh, but that's sort of where it ended for me. I, 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 I appreciate the, the, the anonymity of, of the subjects. Um, I, I put it uh, firmly to professional practice, but I, I, I'm still uh, listening to, to see if I can be convinced to go up with. And Adam from 78? I think for the reason that you said that is what, what stops me from going in, into silver is that the more I look at it, the more I just love that line from the right-hand side leading right up to that figure, but the brightest part of the image is that rim around the front, the foreground, and that's a, such a massive block in the frame. And every time I sort of force myself to imagine it without it there I, I just think it commu would c it communicates better um, without that sort of block it just it's such it's such a, 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 a highlight in the the picture it just draws me away from the, the beautiful subtlety that's everywhere the concept on is what I'm rewarding but the execution I think uh, it, it just just lacks that little bit to get it up into silver and Rob you're right of reply um, of course uh that could be uh, addressed um, in another print at another time. Um, but just as it is now, I think it would be, uh, and again, I come back to fit for purpose, and, and for the category it's in, it could be a, a quite a strong image when it's used. So that's how I'm basing uh, yeah, my, my reason for having uh, putting it into a silver category. Thank you. Our average score is 77. Rob's locked in at 85. Everyone else may rescore.
Prince scores 79, gained two points. Next print, please. <laughs> 